All right, I got two packages here, and I already started opening this one up because this one was hard to open. And there's something in here that's moving, so I better fix that right now. This one comes from eBay, and as you know, I have a Back to the Future movie collection that's pretty big, and someone on my last video, on the Back to the Future DVD collection video I did, told me I forgot the 2002 edition, the, the first edition that came out on DVD, and... I had it. I did. I did have it once when I when it came out, and I can't talk right now. <laughs> I did have it once when it came originally came out. I got rid of it when I got the newer editions from twenty two thousand nine or two thousand ten, I believe. But I figured since I've got the collection going, I might as well rebuy another one. One. So I rebought the original Back to the Future trilogy set. This is the first edition that came out in two thousand two. And I can feel something moving inside of here, so let me see if I can... Huh. I put, like, tape on one of the discs right here. I don't know why. That's weird. Maybe because they thought they, it wouldn't fit in there, but it fits fine. I'll just check and see. No, there's no scratches on it, so we're good on that one. Let me see about the other two. Okay, I think I know what they were trying to do. They were trying to make sure the discs were still in there, so... Gotta be careful with this. I don't know why they do that. I think that... Wouldn't that hurt the... Wouldn't that damage the discs? I get what they're trying to do, but, yeah, that's weird. Let me just double check and see if these discs are good. That one looks good. And that one looks good. So I think so. I think we're good on all three of them. So, yeah, like I said, these are the, this was the original 2002 release, the first editions of these movies that came out. There is no... There is no, um inserts in here, so, but that's fine, I, I mean, I don't really need it, but I just wanted it for the collection, so, so I can add this to my collection of Back to the Future, of all the Back to the Future movies that I have, I still don't, didn't get the Target one that I pre-ordered months ago, I don't know why that's not coming in sooner, but, there's that one, and now let's go ahead and open up this other package, this one comes from Deep Discount, and this is probably one of those, other, one of those Christmas DVDs, yep, one of the Christmas Blu-rays that I ordered, and as you saw yesterday, I got Miracle on 34th Street, the remake, and now I have Miracle on 34th Street, the original, on Blu-ray. So, yeah, that's the original Miracle on 34th Street. Classic movie. This one's in the 20th Century Studios packaging, which the remake wasn't, which I already showed you that yesterday in the other video. So... Yeah, classic, like I said, classic movie. I mean, not really much more to say about this one. I really enjoyed this movie. Classic movie. This and the remake are both very good. So, those are the two packages I got today. And as soon as I get the other packages, I'll let you know. So, what's the first thing you do after the Steelers get out of Nashville with a win and go to 6-0? and Well, you go to Walmart, of course. Let's head on out there, shall we? like change this entire section around like the DVD section has been cut down I have the other Tremors movies on Blu-ray so this might be an option I got all these collections here this I'm just noticing this different versions of a star is born 10 bucks it's not bad and movie animation collection. Does it still have the mispronounce the misspelling of five hole? Yep. Action collection. Alright, 
so no luck on the witches, but I did find some things I might get, like this. 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo, plus the movie they did after that. For 10 bucks, that's not a bad deal. I'm tempted on this one, too, the 10 Film Animation Collection from Universal. That might be an option. This is also an option, too, A Star is Born. But this I'm definitely going to get. 15 bucks for that, that's too good of a deal to pass up on. Yeah, they didn't have the one I was looking for, Welcome to Sudden Death. I know they had it here before, but like I said, they moved that entire section around. Like, there isn't as many DVDs and Blu-rays over there, but they don't even have a, la shift for the, a label for them anymore, so... Oh, well. I think I can watch it on Netflix, though, so I probably will just do that. Okay, I thought about it. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get the animation collection and Tremor Shrieker Island. I put Scooby Doo back, but these will do just fine. All right, so it's a couple of hours later. I can't. I got back from Walmart, and like I said, you pretty much saw everything that I got. So I'll just go ahead and show you what I got real quick. Uh, the first thing I picked up was Tremor Shrieker Island. This is, of course, the new Tremors movie, and um. You know, I may not like the Sharknado movies, but I will sure as heck watch any new Tremors movie that comes out. Uh, I've got the six-movie collection on Blu-ray, which I got from Walmart. Actually, got the Walmart Steelbook a few months ago. So, yeah, I know that this is probably not going to be any good, but they're going to be fun to watch. These are very fun movies to watch for. And it was only 15 bucks too, which is which is not bad. Like, like I said, I was looking for that new For Welcome to Sudden Death, the movie I passed up on the last time I went to Walmart. I decided to get the American Pie movie instead, and now I'm kind of regretting it, but like I said, I think I can watch it on Netflix, so that might be something I might do in a couple weeks, so be on the lookout for that pretty soon, if I do get around to watching that. Uh, I wasn't going to get this originally, but because it was the last one, I figured, you know what, why not? Got to get something from Walmart, so I got the 10 film animation collection, which has... Uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks meet Frankenstein, An American Tale, Balto, Curious George, Jetsons the Movie, Land Before Time, Over the Hedge, Tale of Despero, Turbo, and We're Back, A Dinosaur Story. Uh, the only one I probably won't watch is Turbo because I really hate Turbo. I think it's DreamWorks' worst movie. But you know what? For 30 bucks, that's a pretty good deal for 10 movies there. They also had the um, action movie collection as well as the sci-fi collection on Blu-ray. I didn't show you that, but like I said, for 30 bucks, that's too good of a deal to pass up on up on can, I can actually remove some space on my DVD collection because I have most of these on DVD already so I think if 30 bucks why not and then the last thing this one was a surprise I was not expecting this to be there I heard nothing about it but I figured why not pick this up the Star is Born 3 film set because you don't you not only get the recent remake with Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga but you also get the Judy Garland version from 1954 and then the 76 version with Barbara Streisand and Chris Christopherson, so I've never seen these other two. I've never seen the two originals. I've only seen the the most recent Star Is Born remake, which is a fantastic movie. So I'm definitely interested in checking this one out. So for ten bucks, I figured why not pick it up. So, um, but other than that, those are pretty much the picks I got. Like I said, I put the Scooby Doo one back that I thought about getting because I figured I'm probably not going to watch the that one, but. So yeah, these ones right here, this was 15, this was 30, this was 10, so about 50 bucks worth. And not bad, especially considering that Walmart's, you saw the DVD, the DVD and Blu-rays being condensed down a bit. So I was actually lucky to find some stuff there, because there, de there was definitely a lot of empty spaces there. So yeah, that's my pickups from Walmart, and we'll see what the rest of the week has to offer. Alright, so another package, let's go ahead and open this up. If I'm not mistaken, these are the other two 20th Century Fox Christmas TV Blu-rays I ordered, if I'm not mistaken. They could be something else completely, and... Okay, these are definitely it. So, like I said, I bought a couple of them. I bought the Home Alone 2 feature set. I bought the Miracle on 34th Street original and the remake. 
and because I'm trying to do what I did for Home Alone that I did with Back to the Future, I can get this out. There we go. Because of that, I, re I bought Home Alone and Home Alone 2 lost to New York again. Uh, no real reason, just because, like I said, I'm trying to do what I did for Home Alone, what I did with the Back to the Future movies, try to collect as many copies as I can. That and Space Jam, too. I have a lot of Space Jam Blu-rays and D DVDs as well, but... Yeah, these are the Christmas editions of Home Alone with the Christmas co coverings and Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. Do these have the... Di are these the... No, this is just Fox, and then I'm pretty sure the other one's just 20th Century Fox. Yep. So nothing too crazy inside of here, just the coverings themselves here. And, um... Yeah, what more do I need to say? It's Home Alone and Home Alone 2. That's... Not really much more you can say about that. <laughs> okay, so now it's Tuesday, and I had a couple packages that were supposed to come today. One's for, one was from Amazon, and the other I have right here is from Target. And I was trying to figure out, what did I get from Target? And then I slowly started, I remembered what I got, because I ordered it a while ago. Which is weird, because I have another thing that I was supposed to get from Target last week, and it still hasn't come yet, so i got to call them about that, but... Real quickly, I'll show you what this is. It's nothing too big or fa anything too fancy, but it did come out this week on DVD. You're probably not going to see it unless you buy it on Amazon or something, or on Target, but... I got Garfield and Friends Season 3 Remastered. And you may remember a while back, I did a video comparing se the Volume 1 set put out by Fox and the original Volume 1 DVD set, the Season 1 DVD set by the same company. And I was supposed to do Season 2, but then I went on vacation when that came out last year. And I just never got around to put to doing that video. So I don't know if I'm going to do a video for this one, but this came out today. It's the third season remastered, the widescreen editions of this show. And, um, yeah, nothing too crazy. It's not even that expensive. It's only like 10 bucks. So if you don't have the original Garfield and Friends sets, but you want to get to this heat, the original series... Go to Target and, or Amazon and pick this up. It's only, like I said, it was only like ten bucks on Target, and I think it's only eleven on Amazon. So for eighteen episodes, you're getting a, a whole, you're getting something pretty good, cheap for something. You're, let me rephrase that. You're getting something pretty good, and with eighteen episodes on here, you're getting a lot for eleven bucks. There. <laughs> All right. So real quickly, we're gonna open this up. This is a package from Zavi, and this is for a steel book that I saw for. A couple of movies that I've been waiting for them to put a proper steelbook collection out of, and I found it on Z Zabi. Is it Zabi or Zabi? I don't know. Zabi. Z A V V I. But I found it on there, and I just knew I had to have it, and it's nice. It's a nice looking set here. And that is the It 2 film collection, the steelbook set. This includes the first It and It Chapter 2. 4K, you get a 4K Ultra HD and the Blu-ray. Pennywise on the front there. And this is not, this is hard too. This is a hard steelbook too. It's like me, it's like metal, metal pack, and the two steelbooks are inside right there. There's the back. It comes with some extra stuff, including it's an outer steel case. Okay, outer steel case. Two steelbooks with original fan art and two fan illustrated posters. So yeah, those are two. I like the first it more than the second one. I, do, I still like the second one. The second one has some good, has a lot of good moments in there, but the first one's definitely the scariest one of these two movies. And I didn't find the original it, the Stephen King it from nineteen Stephen King's it from nineteen ninety all that scary. But but yeah, this movie really did, the first movie really did scare me on here. And I don't usually it's, I don't usually watch a lot of horror movies, but this is one of those sets that I was so happy to find on Z online. I actually, I'm happy they have a steelbook set out for this. I had to pick this up. I can't remember how much I paid for it, though. Okay, so, um, so I'm looking at the price on the envelope here. $74.19 was how much I paid for it. It's a, it's literally on the label, so. Can you see it? Right there, $74.19 for the, is for the set, which... It's a little expensive, yes, and but if you but if you go back and look at how much the original It steelbooks were at Best Buy, like thirty five bucks a piece. I mean, when they when they both came out, I mean, not now, but 
that's put that's not a bad deal, especially for a 4K Blu-ray set, and you get these additional bonus features as well. Yeah, it's it's worth it. Plus, this is an import too. This is from I. This is from uh, England, even though it's a, I can't remember. Is it Irish Film Classification Office? It says Irish Film Classification Office, but I believe Zabi is an in, is in England. I'm not sure. I don't. I'm not too sure about that. Don't quote me on that, but. But yeah, there you go, right there. The It 2 film collection came just in time for Halloween, too, so I have something to look forward to watching. Alright, so I got three packages here. One from Amazon, one from eBay, and one from Target. So, let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and open these up. I'll start with the one from Amazon. And this should be... Yep, yeah, this is the thing that I was expecting to come this week. This is the big new release I was looking forward to. And that is... The complete series of the Flintstones on Blu-ray for the first time ever. You get all six seasons plus two bonus movies, The Man Called Flintstone and The Flintstones and WWE Stone Age Smackdown. Now, supposedly there's a disc in here that has some audio issues. Like, you go to a, is you have to go to a specific, you have to send the this email to this company. And I'll put a link to that email below if you actually get, if you guys actually get this. But I just found this out because of the digital bits. They put up a print, they put up a post about it. But like I said, I'll put a link to that email email down below and how you can get your replacement disc if you are planning to get this. But I only paid sixty bucks. But for sixty bucks, this is a really should be a really good deal. And all these should be in really good good good. What do I want to say here is they should be in good presentation. They're all high definition. I'm really looking forward to seeing how these look on on Blu-ray. So I'm definitely looking forward to this. So that's the first one. Let's go ahead and open up the second one. This is from eBay. And this will fit with the last package I got because it's a, it relates to that, but... A nice Back to the Future Tumblr. Down from, from down in Universal. See the price right... See the price right there? That was 21 bucks. Is this, is this getting a price? Yeah, it is. Okay. There's the back. There's the front. And I say this fits with the last package because the last package comes from Target, and it's a package of something that I've been waiting for for a while now. I ordered it. I pre-ordered it back in July. The thing came out last week. For some reason, it was stuck in limbo, so I had to call the. Tar it's like I didn't get it for the longest time, so I had to call the Target website customer service. They refunded me the money, so I can buy it again. So get it open. Yes, finally it's here. The Back to the Future Target exclusive 35th anniversary trilogy set, the Blu-ray edition with the limited edition in collectible and levitating hoverboard re replica. Very nice, very nice indeed. Like I'm so happy I finally have this in my possession. I've been waiting to get my hands on that, that in particular, but another ver another Back to the Future to add to the collection. So. So yeah, that's all, those are all three packages there, and let me go ahead and show you the replica. It's, it's, it's the replica in and of itself, because I want to see it for myself, so give me one second. Okay, so there's the case itself. I've got the hoverboard here. Let's go ahead and see what, what this does. Check that out. That's pretty cool. There's the, like little magnets underneath it, if you can see. There's a better look at it, but I can't get it back in. <laughs> there we go. And you know, that's a perfect way to end this video. I'm going to end it with this. So, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button up at the top and check out a previous episode here. And I will see you guys later on. So, take care.